Hi everybody. I am just checking in with my second to last uh, video for the Insanity Max 30 Challenge for my first month. I just finished, I don't even know what day it is anymore you guys. I'm not in my office so I can't look at my calendar but it was the third and second to last workout. It's in month one so it was one last tab of strength and one last Friday fight. All I've got left is Pulse tomorrow, and I'm done with month one, and I'm so proud of myself, and I'm feeling so good and so strong, and I'm actually excited to start month two, which I never thought I would say. Um, but I had a huge, like I feel like I turned over a new leaf this last week, and I wanted to tell you guys the reason I think why. Number one, I was very careful with my nutrition following the portion control meal plan plan. Um, so I have recommitted to doing that really on top of things for month two because it's the same meal plan that comes with the 21 day fix, which I love. And there's a new version of the 21 day fix coming out in the beginning of February. So I want to really be on top of things this these next few weeks to get ready to jump in and try that new program when it comes out. Um, if you have any questions or if you want to join me, just get a hold of me and I'll help you get all hooked up. Um, and second, because after I came back from hurting my back, I was being careful. And so I gave myself permission to come into each workout only doing the modified moves. And it totally changed my mindset. Now, I'm not saying that you need to have a mindset of not trying your hardest. But if cardio and plyometric plyometric stuff is super challenging for you or if it is like your least favorite type of workout like me then coming into it with this mentality like I'm gonna just kill myself to get this workout done to get the highest max time it may not work for you it may be just too much for you it was actually taking a little bit of my enjoyment out of the workouts because I just I was so I was pushing so hard and I think that easing up a little bit on myself um, and just giving myself room to not be a machine really helped. So I came into the workouts this week with the idea that I was just going to do the modified the whole time, but that I was going to max out on my form. And let me tell you, you guys, it is still so challenging. After taking that week off and coming back, even only doing the modified moves, my arms are so sore, my arms and my shoulders. So don't think that if you're doing the modified moves, you're getting a subpar workout because you're still doing really challenging stuff. And if you're focused on your form and you're maxing out on your form, then you're still going to get really great results. Um, the other thing was when I let the pressure off of myself to be just like this incredible workout machine, I actually wanted to try harder. So I found myself doing moves unmodified even though I told myself I was only going to do modified because I wanted to because I wanted to feel those muscles work in that way and I did a really good job at them because my body wasn't already so exhausted and maxed out that I couldn't have good form and as we all know good form is so important because it keeps us from getting injured um so maybe if you're having a bit of a hard time with insanity max 30 or other like really high intensity, high impact cardio kind of workouts, just give yourself a little bit of grace to not be a machine because we're all works in progress and the only person that you're competing with is who you were yesterday. You don't have to compete with me or your fit friends or any of the other coaches you see online. You are only going up against you and your number one job is to respect the journey and respect the process and stay consistent. And so if you need to ease up a little bit on yourself in order to stay consistent with it, then do it because it's more important for you to come back every day with renewed inspiration for this journey that we're on than to get completely burnt out and quit after a week or two. At least that's what I want for you and I hope that you feel the same way. So if you want to try Insanity Max 30, please get a hold of me. I'm a coach so I can hook you up with a few better deals than you can just find if you just go online and Google. Plus, if you order through me, I can get you plugged in with an online accountability group, which Lord knows is so helpful with a program like this that's so challenging. So let me know. 
Um, and if you have any questions about the 21 Day Fix, the new version of it, 21 Day Fix Extreme, or the older one, 21 Day Fix, and you think you may want to join me in February next month, getting ready for springtime, um, spring break, then just get a hold of me and I'd love to chat with you about it. So thank you guys for following my journey so far. I'm going to check in with you one more time after I finish my last workout and do my 30 day progress picks to tell you guys um, just my thoughts on this, this month long challenge as a whole. And well, I guess that's it. Thanks guys. I'll see you tomorrow.